backup camera? That's our front camera. Our front you will camera. See this, okay. Uh, all along the right. And while we're going through the pulling out of the parking lot, I can talk the about the human is driving now. But yes, we're in okay. manual mode. It soon he won't be. Yeah. Okay. So okay. the car will let us know when it feels that it's a good time to take to okay. go into auto mode drive. <coughs> so this iPad here, uh, we want to emphasize this theme that you as a passenger can have a comfortable and interactive ride. So the iPad here is to demonstrate a concept of car as your partner, where the car is suggesting different points along the route that it can take. Please reroute or tell the vehicle to reroute for you from the back seat here, from your iPad. So we can actually stop at Starbucks or McDonald's and traverse to different points of interest. Um, it also knows about your calendar meeting, so it also suggests points of interest that you cannot add in the interest of your meeting, making your meeting on time. Okay, so we're going on Paradise Boulevard, which is very, very, very busy. Yes, it's and uh, it's, it's assessing all the objects around okay. us, and it's also showing a path curvature ahead. You uh -huh. see this dynamic path curvature? That's a feedback loop for you to know the status of the autonomous okay. vehicle. The autonomous vehicle is trying to communicate with you its intention. So for example, it's communicating right now that it detects that vehicle in front of us and it's red in color. It mm -hmm. also will change into like a steering, uh, different turns. It will mm -hmm. show you the curves. This is all part of the safety and confidence message where we want you as a passenger to know the vehicle's next maneuver and what the vehicle sees. Mm -hmm. um, so right now, yeah, the vehicle is I'm doing- It's showing it's, it's five lanes. Yep. in front of the it's convention a, it's, a, it's a very busy paradise road yeah okay. and it's detecting these vehicles you saw the demonstration of the lidar radars they're performing a 360 uh, view around the vehicle now where are the radars right there in the windshield so the radars and lidars we can point them out once we get okay. out of the car they're all around the car and that helps the car create that 360 view of knowing free space knowing where vehicles are where pedestrians are, where the traffic lights are. We have about 20 sensors on the car that are all styled in. In fact, they're very hard to see until you point them out. You wouldn't do that on a production car, of course, because um, you don't need all the, all the redundancies. We're doing it uh, with an idea of finding out which sensors work best in different situations. Yep. Okay, so we have a little green and yellow light on the left-hand side of the screen. Yeah. Those are meant for the driver. This okay. is a research prototype vehicle, so they're just system health status key information for him. Okay. As you can see here, the light has been detected by the autonomous vehicle, and it's uh -huh. using that, using DSRC wireless communication technology. Okay, and that's actually connected. Delphi connect Drive available. Ah, so here we go. So the car thinks it's ready to go into autonomous driving mode. Okay. And uh, yeah, so the lights back there, the DSRC okay. wireless communication technology. Now, we just started slowing down. Did you take off the gas? Yes. So, Tony is now driving in uh, autonomous driving mode, as you can see by the bottom green icon there. And okay, and it's slower than he was driving yes. before. and that's a good observation because the autonomous vehicle behaves in a conservative manner. Right share request. So, it always uh, observes speed. Um, Are we going to pick up this guy? Yeah, if you want, I can do, accept do, him from my do iPad. Like, Where is like, he? Do you like what he looks like? Uh, no, he's too cute. Yeah. <laughs> right we have no room. Accepted. Yeah, we have no room. Right, we, no. we have no place yeah. to put him. <laughs> In the interest of the demo and the time, we can't really pick up Thomas, but this is to demonstrate a future, okay. future city whose mobility is redefined because okay. you don't have to navigate, you don't have to drive. You, do, you can easily okay. pick up your So colleagues. as it's inching closer to Big Stir in front of us, that's the yeah. guy's <laughs> life, but it really slowed down a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but it's not braking, it's just slowing? Yeah, it's just a smooth smooth brake. It's brake now. Yeah. And the, the light has been detected again. So Delphi worked with the city of Las Vegas and the county of Las Vegas to install uh, okay. transceivers on all the lights along this route. Just this route, not the whole city yet. Not the whole city yet. Um, this is to demonstrate a working real life example of the traffic light and how we're actually getting the row, the green arrow as well, not just the solid green circle, okay. the accurate, accurate phase information right. of the light.
All right, so it's making a left turn. And up ahead, we'll show a okay. various vehicle to everything demonstration. Now, instead of going into the far left lane, it went into the second lane. Yeah. Is there a reason because so, it's going somewhere? Yeah, so you will see that it does. Changing lanes. It's changing lanes into the left lane. Okay. It's the, the way it's mapped, it's internal map is it will choose those lanes. Uh, but it, right now it performed a cautious maneuver. It's creating a dedicated lane space. You see that hidden driveway okay. sign up ahead? Now it is below the speed limit, which is posted 25 miles per hour, but this street usually is a lot faster. Yes, than yep. Yes. yep. It's We're usually always. like 45 miles yeah. per yes. hour. So right here connected you see vehicle. a connected vehicle. It knows it has connected to another vehicle via DSRC technology. And so it can actually predict it's the vehicle behind us. Uh, it's connected. Is so it there can, a vehicle behind us? Yes. A Cadillac CTS. Oh, and they, they're part of it? Yes. They oh. have the DSRC. The CTS 2017. That's that cute guy in the Cadillac? <laughs> yep. Is Thomas in there? <laughs> they're all cute guys, right? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Here you see a pedestrian notification. Um, the pedestrian's up ahead, actually. And she's holding a LG DSRC equipped phone. Oh, there she is. She's cold. Will somebody give her a hat? <laughs> she's part of your group. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Oh, okay. So even so, we were actually able to know about her through through that phone, through the wireless communication. Okay. And that's especially useful for situations like jaywalkers or people who just suddenly come on the road. Right. And that's DSRC or is it a different protocol? That is DSRC. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. So the Cadillac, right, is going to do a maneuver in front of us. Oh, okay. And it's going to attempt to come into our lane, and it has. And we are slowing down. What has happened is that since we're connected to that car, we got okay. the brake message from that car, and okay. in response, autonomous vehicles slowed down. So we okay. actually showed a maneuver which from the connected vehicle's um, information. Okay, and it's all driving itself now. Yes, it's okay. fully autonomous. You happen to wind up here right at the left arrow. Is that planned? Does uh, it no. actually calculate it? <laughs> this is, it's, it's using the accurate phase information from that traffic light. Okay. So it's not, it's all real. It's all not planned, pre-planned. Okay. But eventually you'll be able to time the driving with the tra traffic light. Exactly. Yes. That's the big picture. Yes. Okay. That will really redefine the way autonomous vehicles pass okay. through intersections. And, much and we're back happening. on Paradise. We have a yellow light and it didn't go through the yellow light. Now, is the human driving that or is the car driving the itself? Car the car has been uh, fully The Cadillac. Driving. Oh, uh, human. The, the, that's a human. human. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, thus far, you have seen different concepts in the car. And okay. I'll just summarize them. We talked about, you know, you saw the Apple Watch, how the calendar notification came, you were okay. reminded. You saw different iPad activities. We could actually show, you know, if you selected McDonald's, which is way up there, it would have actually rerouted us and gone all the way up there um, just from the iPad. So it's a okay. multi-device ecosystem and it's acting as our partner